Hello, in this video we're going to go over a front roll. Now sometimes we're going to call it a front shoulder roll or a forward shoulder roll. And hey, spoiler alert, that means you're going to roll on your shoulder, not your head. First of all, this is what it's going to look like. And this is a super simple basic version. Show you again. One more angle. Now what's happening here is again, I'm rolling on my shoulder, right? We're starting from a very, very low position, make this the, as easy as possible to kind of get into. Key thing again is that shoulder needs to go down and it often helps to have sort of a reference point. So this little red dot right here is kind of my target or what I'm aiming at. That's gonna be my reference point. It's right there in front of my knees. Now with one hand, right, I'm gonna put it flat on the floor, right? And I'm gonna tuck my head under that arm. The other hand's gonna turn upside down I'm just gonna reach out so that my shoulder starts heading to the floor and I'm gonna try to put it right there on that dot. So I've got one, two. Notice how the head is gonna get tucked in under the arm. One, two. One, two. Once I get into this position and I feel my shoulder on the floor, I'm gonna need to push my hips up and over my head and my shoulder a little bit and that's gonna complete the roll, All right? To show that from the side. My feet are uh, flat on the floor. I'm pushing with my feet so my hips go up, 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 and over. All right, I'm trying to end up in kind of a figure four, meaning that my right foot is stepping, my left foot is folded underneath right here. All right, I'm gonna show you one more time from this angle here. One hand goes down, and I'm gonna tuck my head under that arm, almost like I'm trying to smell my knee or smell my armpit, or I'm doing a dab or something like that. I'm going under there. So the hand's going straight out, shoulder gets to the floor. At this point, I wanna point out that my head is not on the floor. This is the important part. This is why I'm getting my head out of the way, right here, so that the shoulder's on the floor and it's gonna bear my weight and my head stays out of the way so it doesn't contact the floor. This hand over here is for a little bit of support, a little bit of guidance to help me get over. Now I'm gonna push with my feet so my hips go high into the air, then they go up over the top. I'm folding my leg. I'm gonna end up in this seated position right here. Okay. Go ahead and follow along with me a couple more times. If you don't have anything that you can use as a target, right, just use your imagination, try to put it down there. Now for you at home, take your left hand and put that flat. Take your right hand, turn it over. Now we're gonna tuck our head under there and you're gonna have a hard time seeing the screen, right, if you're tucking your head, right, but just think about that shoulder going over. All right, touch the ground with the shoulder, then come back up. Touch the ground with the shoulder, each time looking back under your arm, tuck your head as far as you can. Reach ground, touch the shoulder. If you feel ready, push with your feet, hips go over the top. And you should end up something like this, right foot forward, left leg tucked underneath. And that is a front shoulder roll.